Britt Prendergast is back checking the forecast. And Britt, may I uh, officially welcome you to the Global Thank News you. family? You've been popping in every now and then, filling in, but uh, we, we put a ring on it. Oh. You'll be, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's yeah. probably the only ring I get in my life, so I'm going to take that to the bank. <laughs> Thank you. But you'll Gabby. be on uh, weekend mornings uh, in a couple of weeks, so yes. we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Yeah. That, oh, that made my day. Oh, good. Thank you. Of course. I wish but, I had a real, you know, real, real ring. Oh, you know what? Bring me a ring pop. We'll, oh, okay. <laughs> we'll call it even from there. Sweet. We'll uh, take a look outside, though, right now. It is a gorgeous evening tonight, as you can see, before I throw the temperature up there. 27 degrees, which is our daytime high today in the city. Temperature is going to hover around this point over the next little week so we're gonna get a little bit warmer than what we felt yesterday but not too warm obviously the big story our smoke forecast Lloydminster feeling a little bit more of it we can see red deer getting some of the effects and obviously Jasper is going to be uh, the main concern over the next few days we do start to see white court gets a little bit of it it does seem as though central Edmonton central Alberta I should say gets more so of the clear air red deer gonna see more of that effect into Tuesday as well so daytime highs today around the province we can see red Ranging quite nicely. I don't have Jasper's high right now, but I do believe it was 22 degrees. They do obviously have that haze sitting on, so bringing those temperatures down a little more. 27 here in Edmonton, Fort McMurray at 28 and high level at 27. Uh, Medicine Hat at 29. There is a heat advisory warning in that area right here that I'm showing you. We can see that the excessive heat warning is just south of Red Deer, Calgary more so to the east, and Medicine Hat. We can also see some of those thunder showers working their way through. Through Lethbridge and Medicine Hat. We'll keep a closer look on. As we move through into Monday, we can see some of these showers working their way in from British Columbia, coming right exactly where we need them in the northern parts of the province on high level into Jasper. Edmonton's going to look to get the tail end of that early hours into Tuesday as it continues on into Lloydminster for the afternoon. When we take a look at tonight's temperatures, get a little bit cooler in some areas. Obviously the mountains, Jasper at nine and Banff at eight. Coronation feeling like nine degrees too, but teens pretty consistent around the province overnight tonight. Here in the city, as you go hour per hour, we will take that dip to about 15 degrees at 6 a.m. if you're starting your work week around there and we'll start to bounce back up. As we move through the day, our three day forecast I made. Oh, oh, there we go. Tomorrow first is those temperatures that we can expect. So as you can see, working their way up all around the province. And there we go. There's our three day. We are going to set at that 26 degrees for the daytime high as we hover into the next couple of days. And then it looks to stay pretty consistent from there. So we're going to be in that mid 20 degrees as we head into the rest of our work week and into our weekend.